Hey, you guys, good morning. So after over a year of sitting on the shelves because of COVID, movies that have been waiting to be seen are now coming out. In the Heights tops my phase five Dean's List reviews. Lights up on Washington Heights up at the break of day. I wake up and I got this little punk I gotta chase away. Pop the grate at the crack of dawn, sing while I wipe down the awning. Hey, y'all, uh, good morning. After a year plus of delays because of the pandemic, the perfect movie to get you back into theaters has come. In the Heights put Lin Manuel Miranda on the map as a performer and writer way before he ever took his shot with Hamilton. The movie version of In the Heights, his award-winning Broadway musical jumps off of the screen, introducing us to life in Manhattan's Washington Heights neighborhood and its deeply dimensional characters looking for something better for themselves and for their loved ones. It's an uplifting story that, while centered in Latin culture, really is about every culture, with an explosion of energy, vibrant colors, and a fiery mix of salsa, R&B, pop, and hip-hop music so signature to Miranda's now-famous style, made even more electric thanks to director John Chu's considerable creativity. This impressive cast, led by former Hamilton star Anthony Ramos, will draw you into their souls what? and lift you with their charisma and spot-on song and dance. In the Heights is easily the best film of the year so far, and with its PG-13 rating, winds up being perfect for everyone in the family. It's a Dean's List A+, in theaters now and also on HBO Max. Strictly for the kids is Peter Cottontail 2, The Runaway, a superior follow-up to the 2018 predecessor. James Corden is back as the voice of Peter, who wanders away from the family and gets mixed up with a bad pack of animals. It's sweet at times, self-effacing at times, and harmless entertainment all the time. A Dean's List B- only in theaters. You're not crazy. Exclusively on Paramount Plus, there's Mark Wahlberg's latest, Infinite, the story of a secret society of people who can recall their past lives. The tortured soul, Evan, is thought to be schizophrenic, but every time he dies or gets killed, he re-emerges. Basically, an action movie with a reincarnation theme, she would tell a Geophore co-stars. It's rated PG-13. <laughs> I know what this place is. And already breaking records for viewership on Disney Plus is the new Marvel spin-off series, Loki, centered around the brother of the mighty Thor slash mythical god of mischief that takes place after the events of Avengers Endgame. Owen Wilson is added to the mix here. Episode one is streaming now. There'll be a new one every Wednesday for the next six weeks. And you can get my weekend movie reviews and home video picks sent to your phones every Friday when you text the word Dean to 97999. We'll send them out to you automatically every week. Paul, I know you're wondering, you do not have to see Peter Cottontail 1 in order <laughs> okay, to, for me to understand what's That's going helpful. on. That's helpful. Thank show. you, Dean. <laughs> yeah. I was worried. Uh, we're going to get.